creators, today is Wednesday, September 4th, and we are doing Eureka Math Module 1, Lesson 6, okay? And today, what we're going to do is we're going to take all the learning we've been doing about place value, and we're going to use that to help us compare decimals. The good news is it is exactly the same reasoning. It's repeated reasoning, right? Math practice number seven or eight. I always forget which one. But it's using the same kind of logic and the same kind of thinking you do when you compare regular numbers. The only difference is now we have decimals. It's not any different. It's not any harder. You just have to do the same thing. So I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. In your math notebook, please write that we need to compare 13,196 and 13,296. Well, whenever you should already know this. When we compare things, we, it helps to put them in a place value chart. The reason why it helps to put them in a place value chart is because then it lines up the place values so you can compare them one place value at a time. It's like if I wanted to compare your heights. If I wanted to know which fifth grader was the tallest, I would want to line you guys up so I can look at you standing right next to each other. Do you guys agree? It's hard for me to compare, excuse me, it's hard for me to compare your heights when you're all scattered around the room. But if you're lined up, I can easily see, okay, uh, Maria is a little taller than Jonah, etc. Okay? <laughs> so much taller, says Jonah. It's also harder to compare two numbers when their place values are not lined up. So, if we want to compare 13,196, we have to write the 6 in the 1's place, the 9 in the 10's place, the 1 in the 100's place, the 3 in the 1,000's place, and the 1 in the 10,000's place. Similarly, for our next number, 6 in the 1's place, 9 in the 10's place, 2 in the 100's place, 3 in the 1,000's place, and 1 in the 10,000's place. What this allows us to do is if I, it's the same as if I line up Jonah and Mario, I can see back to back, whose 10,000's place is bigger? It's the same, okay, so we move on to the next biggest, the thousands place. Well, whose thousands place is bigger? Okay, so let's move on to the next biggest. Whose hundreds place is bigger, the yellow number or the red number? Red, red number. So we can say that 13,196 is less than 13,296. I have a couple questions for you here. Did I start comparing their digits from the biggest place value from the left or from the smallest from the right? biggest. Why? Why did I start comparing them from the biggest place value position? Let's just play this out. What if I started comparing from the right, from the smallest? Which one's bigger, 9 or 2? 9. Okay, so I'm going to think this one is bigger. Is that the case? No. 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 We always start comparing numbers from the left, from the largest possible place value position because it makes the most difference. Sometimes your smaller place values might be bigger than the other number, but if the larger one is smaller, then overall, the number will still have less value. Does that make sense? Okay, good. That's one friendly reminder. Another friendly reminder is we use three symbols to compare two numbers. We use this one, we use this one, and we use this one. When we were little, this is what I told the fourth graders, we learned that, oh, we can think of this like an alligator's mouth or something like that, right? Or a dinosaur's mouth. And we learned that the mouth always likes to eat the bigger side. Yes? Yeah. However, we are now in fifth grade, and we don't need to do that. We just know that this means greater than, not bigger than, not more than, greater than. This one means less than, and this one means equal to. This should be a review, yes? Yes. Okay, jot it down quickly in your notebook. Let's take what we already know and use the same reasoning to compare numbers that have decimals now, okay? So now we have 0, 0.0. .0 one, two. So if I write that in a place value chart, zero, one, two, it would look like this. And then if I have 0 0.002, it would look like this, 0 0.002. Again, we always, when we're comparing numbers, we always write them into a place value chart because it helps us line up the place values, okay? We now know, we now remember that when we compare numbers, we always start with the place value that has the largest value. What is the place value position here that has the largest value? Well, does the ones have any value? No. What about the tenths? No. What about the hundredths? Yes. Okay. And which hundredth place is bigger, one hundredth or zero hundredths? One hundredth. One hundredth. So we can write a math sentence now that says zero, oh, I need my pen. Okay, zero point zero one two or twelve, ten, twelve thousandths is greater than two thousandths. Whenever we're comparing numbers, please be sure to use these comparison symbols. Repeat after me. Twelve thousandths is greater than two thousandths. Twelve thousandths is greater than two thousandths. 
does. That's how you say it in words. Here's not how you say it in words. 0 0.012 is more than 0 0.002. Do you guys see the difference? What I said the second time is not wrong, but it's not precise mathematical language. And in here, in this classroom, we're always going to strive to use precise mathematical language. Okay? The very common fabulous fail I just demonstrated, trust me, this happens more often than you might think, is that did I line up the place value positions correctly? No. no. The nine is in the what's place? Thousands. Thousands place. The three is in the what's place? Thousands. So because I did not write it into a place value chart, I didn't line up the place value positions. It would be like looking at Maria over here, no, looking at Jonah over here, and Maria over there and say, oh, mm, they look like they're about the same height. Would that be correct? No, we have to compare the same things. So get in the habit. It doesn't take a long time to write things in place value charts, and it makes it so much easier so that you don't mess up. Okay? What is the value? What is the place value position that has value? That's the greatest one. The tenths place. Good. What's, what is more? Two tenths or three tenths? Three tenths. So now I can say that 299 thousandths what is that symbol called? Less is less than three what's? Ten. Good. There are two skills being tested here when you have this kind of question. The first one is seeing, do you understand how to change these fractions into these decimals? Okay. The second one is, can you compare them? Make sense?